Hello everyone, this is Everything DC, Marvel, and more, and today we're going to be talking about the current Arrowverse state. Make sure to like to show support and you are enjoying the video and I can make more videos like this in the future. Make sure to subscribe if you've been enjoying the, all my previous videos that I have been posting. And then also be sure to turn on notifications to always be notified when I have a video come out or a live stream. I'm your EDM host, Luke, and let's get right into the video. So I wanted to make this video today to talk about, well, you know, the current Arrowverse state. So recently we have heard the news that the cancellation of both Batwoman and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. So now, crazy enough, we only have, as a recap, I do want to say some of the only Arrowverse shows we do have. So confirmed returning for next season of the Arrowverse is Flash Season 9, Superman, and Lois Season, it would be actually Season 3, which is exciting. And that is it. That's all the shows that we do know for sure that will be returning. Now, um... I have seen multiple sources list this information, so I do want to just, um, and it does make sense, so I am going to bring it up, is that due to CW canceling both Legends and Batwoman, it is very more than likely that Naomi will be renewed for Season 2, and Gotham Knights will actually be picked up and we will finally be able to see Gotham Knights on television for at least one season. And those are both shows that will be expected to be airing both Gotham Knights and Naomi. If they do get picked up for another season, then they will be um, more than likely next season. So we can add to our list Gotham Knights season one, which is not yet confirmed, and Naomi season two, which is not yet confirmed, but more than likely. And so you, um, just by looking at the list, you might think that it is all. We do have one more. We do have Stargirl. If Stargirl, Stargirl does get renewed for a season four, we haven't even heard any new. I mean, we have heard news. We do know that they are Stargirl um, has finished. Um, they have finished their filming for season three, but we have heard no news from the CW for a trailer for season three or for a official release date even. So, um, so, you know, we at least have to get the season and at least news about the season before they can talk about a season four. Now, two shows that are confirmed to two shows that are for sure not confirmed to three shows, which are expected to return. So, as you can see there, those odds are not really that high. Um, and, you know, speaking as in terms of the worst case scenario, is all three Gotham Knights, Naomi, and Stargirl gets canceled. So that means the only shows we have for next season is Flash and Superman Lois. Now... Assuming that Flash has always been a fall, sh a fall show season, then Flash Season 9 will most likely come out in the fall, while Superman Lois has always been a mid-season show, so that would most likely be coming mid-season, which is also around the date of January slash February. So this now um, means that we would only be having two Arrowverse shows that whole season confirmed for right now. Now, I did want to go back to a um, live stream that I did do in the past. It was called The Rise and the Fall of the Arrowverse. And that, ser or that live stream that I turned into a video, um, at the time of recording, we actually had seven shows, or I think six or seven shows going at a time. At the time of recording, we had Flash, Superman Lois, Naomi, Stargirl, Batwoman, 
legends. And we, during that time, we were hearing talks about Gotham Knights. So not counting Gotham Knights, that seven shows that they were having from the Arrowverse, seven confirmed shows that season, you could um, not say, I mean, maybe eight, but they're in the talks of Gotham Knights. But for sure, confirmed seven shows just, uh, well, what, it's in May, so it would be June, uh, or it would be May, April, March, and February. So just in around three months, the confirmed shows went from seven shows to two shows, which is a major fall of the Arrowverse. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Yes, I know I'm saying now it is not, and more than likely, we will not only be having Flash and Superman Lois, we will most likely be having Naomi and Stargirl and all those other shows. It's just kind of hard to tell, but um, just know as of right now when I say for this season, I'm just talking as if the other shows are not renewed, and it's just these two shows because they have been confirmed. Now, there are multiple way reasons that this did happen with the Arrowverse. One thing is for sure that is, you know, they are trying, <clears throat> excuse me, they are trying to sell the Arrowverse. And, um, and I do think that does have something, you know, major going into it. And I think what the CW is doing is they're looking at shows that are later in the season. So for example, Legends was on season seven and would have actually been going on to season eight. That's a pr that's pretty late for a show. So they looked at that um, aspect and said, okay, you know, Legends is at already at season seven. Let's just cancel it. So when the buyer, if someone buys the CW, then they don't have to worry about, you know, maintaining that show because it's already canceled that. So that's the first thing they would look for. And then the second thing they would look for is mainly is like the view. So even if a show is on its third season and the views are really bad, then they would cancel it. And that's exactly what they did with Batwoman. Now, what's strange about Batwoman, and uh, a lot of people don't understand, it, including me, is Batwoman season three was actually the best season ever of Batwoman and was really, really good. And again, it's not like um, now it's not like they're on, you know, season seven, like Legends, like let's say season seven of Legends was the best season. It would make sense if they got canceled because they're so late into their show. They're already going to be reaching season eight, season nine. So that made sense even if they're season seven. Now season seven wasn't the most popular season, most viewed season, but if it was, it would make sense if they canceled it. Now, Batwoman, it was its most viewed season, and it was only in, you know, season three, which is pretty um, small for a series. So, um, I, so it, it, it was strange that they did cancel Batwoman, but, um, but yeah. So, now comes the real question is, you know, What's going to happen, like, what's really going to happen to the Arrowverse? So, <clears throat> we do have, you know, the, the, um, the, sh at least confirmed two shows, Flash and Superman Lois, which is, you know, good, but at one point we were watching, we had four, like, no, this wasn't last year, but at one point during the Arrowverse, um, I saw this on, um, social media, I can't remember who posted it, but, um, I mean, a lot of people said this, but they still remember their, you know, weeks when they had, um, when they had, I think it was like they had, you know, Supergirl on Monday, then Flash on Tuesday, then Arrow on Wednesday, then Legends on um, Thursday. And then, you know, the following year they had, uh, or, you know, following the years later, they had, you know, Supergirl on Sunday, then they had Black Lightning on Monday. Monday, then Flash on Tuesday, then, uh, you know, Legends on Wednesday and all that stuff. And they just had, like, every single day of the week was an Arrowverse show. And now we might be, you know, coming to a point where there's only one show. For the whole entire week, there's only one show for the Arrowverse. Instead of having those, you know, seven shows at a time. 
which is um very disappointing. Now, for terms of like content for the Arrowverse, for not just me, but all other content creators who make content on the Arrowverse, I don't think it would be, you know, obviously the less shows you have, the less content you can make, but I don't think it would be that big of a deal. I think a lot of people like, you know, I can still make a lot of videos, the same amount of videos I am making now with just, you know, a couple shows than it was. It was obviously easier when we, you know, I was able to make more shows, but, um, but uh, yeah. But I do think that just all of these, you know, things and everything that's happening is definitely making the Arrowverse um, fall a little bit. And I think that will actually do it for the video. Um, I don't really know what the point of this video was. I just kind of want to talk about the current Arrowverse state, my thought, my thoughts on it, and just kind of talk about, you know, yeah, just what's really happening in the Arrowverse right now. So I hope all of you guys did enjoy. I am planning on have a, I'm having a live stream um, this weekend, which will be going over the the uh, first season of Naomi because the finale came out. So, um, so yeah. So I hope all of you guys do enjoy. Stay safe, stay awesome, and most importantly, stay yourself. Bye, guys.